many units have we gone through? It's the end of the year at the Madrona K through eight school. Everybody here should be excited about summer and moving into a brand new school in the fall. But principal Kathleen Hodges says that isn't the case. We've been looking forward to that, having a space that's designed to meet our unique needs and we won't be moving into that space. Construction on a new $49 million school right next door is well underway, but officials with the Olympic View Water District say 120 foot deep storm water wells being drilled here don't adequately protect the water supply. We kind of got blindsided. The Water District's Lynn Danielson says it's her job to think of the worst case scenario. Ours is always the potentially isolated incident that's going to occur, that's going to contaminate the source, and once it's contaminated at 120 feet deep, you can't fix it. The Edmond School District hired an independent firm to review the situation and believes the design is more than adequate. We made some modifications. We increased the number of the monitoring wells that we were originally going to use, so our monitoring plan now exceeds the Department of Ecology regulations. But that doesn't go deep enough for the water district. It wants the school to dig an additional well to monitor water quality for 10 years at a cost of about $70,000, something school officials have not been willing to do. Meantime, instead of a brand new school, Madrona's 650 students will likely start the next school year in a 52-year-old former middle school in Linwood until a solution surfaces. The people who are bearing the brunt of this decision making are children and children shouldn't bear the brunt of adult decision making. Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News. So the students can't stay in their current school because it must be torn down for construction to continue. We're also told that school officials will talk about this issue again on Thursday.